value propositions are one of the most important things in marketing. What they are doing is they are telling your stakeholders why they care about your, your product. Now, this is going to vary from your shareholders to your customers, so you'll have to craft different value propositions for different stakeholder groups. And even inside of one stakeholder group like customers, if you have a primary market and a secondary market, you might need different value propositions for them as well. So the question then becomes, how do you build a value proposition so people can see the value in your product? That is the whole purpose of these things, for stakeholders to understand the value of your product. Product. First, you need to identify a feature of your product that will solve a problem for your stakeholder. So here you can see various features of products. For example, my product for this course is the wait and eat slow cooker. So it's a crock pot with a timer. The feature that differentiates it, if you remember our differentiation discussion we just had a second ago, for customers is the fact that it has a timer that will keep the food cold until you're ready to cook it, at which point it will kick on. That is just a feature. It has a timer on it. So the next thing you need to do is build a bridge why does the customer care that it has a timer? Well, you mentioned that you like using the crock pot, but the timer is only for six hours, has how long the food needs to cook, and you're gone for work for 10 hours, so you have a four hour problem that you can't solve. The benefit of my product is for the four hours before it needs to start cooking, it will stay cool and healthy and fresh in the wait and eat before the timer kicks on and it'll cook. That way your family can have a fresh and healthy and delicious meal when you come home for dinner. Those are the three steps that you just heard. What is the feature? It's fact-based. There's no opinion on it. The bridge to the stakeholder is the need of your stakeholder that you noticed. And the benefit to the stakeholder is how the feature or product fills the need of the stakeholder. Another example is here with airbags on a car. You'll notice this is very salesman -y. I get that. It feels that way, but that's the point of this. You're showing somebody why it has value. If you are doing that for anything, it can come off as being a salesman. That's okay. You just need to have those three steps. You need to have the feature, which is fact-based. What is it that the product has that other products don't have? How will it fill the need for your customer? And what is the benefit to the customer of choosing your product over another potential product? So that's it. That is how you build a value proposition. I look forward to seeing yours in our discussion.